Hi, welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to use auto ducking inside of Adobe Audition's Essential Sound Panel. Hi, I'm David Lewis, talking tech and audio on the channel each and every week. If that sounds like fun to you, why don't you subscribe and turn on all notifications so you don't miss another video. The Essential Sound Panel has been inside of Adobe Audition for a good few years now. Basically, it takes some of the arduous tasks and make them super, super simple. A few weeks ago in the video that's linked up here, I showed you how to do ducking in the old school way, the granular way with side chaining. But this time I'm going to show you how to do it super simply with the essential sound panel and auto ducking. Okay, it's time to get busy inside of Adobe Audition and I'll show you how to auto duck inside of essential sound. Let's open up a session for ourselves. And I see a bit of audio, a bit of dialogue I recorded for this video, and here is some music. This music bed, by the way, I license through Creative Cloud. It's part of your subscription. If you go into your app, you'll find they've got a big licensed music library there, all genres, even down to BPMs. You can order it on the really, really good resource, and not many people know about it. But check out your subscription, and you'll find you've got some licensed music there. So if you're going to use it, say, on a YouTube project, you won't get any copyright strikes. Right, let's show you how to set up auto ducking in Essential Sound. If you don't see the Essential Sound window open in your workspace, make sure you go up to window and just check it's ticked. With your dialog track highlighted, mark that as dialog, you'll get a speech bubble just there. Then with your music track highlighted, mark that as music. You've now got a music note there and your job is almost done. Hit ducking, tell it what you want it to duck against. In our case, dialog is what it's ducking against. And you can see that the artificial intelligence within Adobe Audition has already done its job for us. You've got some controls here. The sensitivity, I hardly ever bother with, to be honest with you. It's just how quickly it kicks in. Rarely, rarely do I ever bother touching that. But these two are the drivers. The duck amount, well, you'll see if I increase it, it gets even quieter. And obviously you can go wherever you want with that. And the fades here, I tend to find that the fades that it gives you, the 800 milliseconds, is a little bit too slow for my liking. I find the sweet spot tends to be somewhere around so 400, uh, 450 to 500, something like that. And pretty much that is your work done. So then you will just listen to it through and you'll hear it gets stuck. Hi, right, this is David. And every simple as that, you see. And I so say you've got the controls here. Now, if you decide that you don't like what Adobe has done for you with its artificial intelligence, you can by unchecking monitor clip changes, you can go in here and keyframe it yourself and you can make any changes that you want manually. But that will, of course, override the work that the artificial intelligence is doing for you. So there you go. That is how simple it is to set up auto ducking with the essential sound panel. In Adobe Audition, you mark your dialogue track as dialogue, music track as music, turn on ducking, make sure it's ducking against the dialogue and then adjust the duck amount and the fades, export it out and you've got ducked dialogue. Ducking made super simple inside of Adobe Audition using the Essential Sound Panel. Let me know in the comments below how you're going to use the auto ducking feature in your video and audio projects. And if there's any other videos you'd like me to cover on this channel, don't forget to turn on all notifications and subscribe as well so you never miss another one of these videos.